are going to Bastakia. That is the old uh, Dubai. And it's like a village style. Before the development of Dubai, this is known to be the living standard of the people of Dubai. So it's amazing that uh, how much they have developed from just ordinary village to a, one of the best cities in the world. This is the town of uh, Bastakia, Bastakia Al Fahidi. Okay, uh, this town was made in 1890. It's almost like 19th century, and uh, this was made by the Bastak tribe. Okay, they have uh, ran from Persia to just uh, stay here because there were too many taxes. So Emirati government at that time they gave them uh, like refugee here. So in 1980, they already demolished uh, all of this town uh, so that they could make labor accommodations and everything. But then after that, uh, the Dubai government said that no, it's a heritage, so we should not demolish it. So after that, uh, they just try to keep their heritage alive. So it's a good, like uh, these uh, home styles are very old and it's of 18th century, 18th, 19th century. Like half of them, they have just uh, tried to renovate it, but it's still good. Like you can still feel the old smell in that. It's uh, very good to your heart, you know. I like it. And the view on the other side is creek. That is very nice. Dera is the oldest, but Dera is like uh, a very very old place, like with narrow streets and everything. But this area is this is like a village style, uh, how they used to live before, how their houses were made, and everything. so all of this village is made in the same sense. Like the buildings are still old, so I'm just having my tea and enjoying the nice view of the creek side. reminded that uh, I feel like I'm in my own country because these are the things which are still being used in our villages. For them it's very old style. <laughs> I think it's still being used in our houses. Huh? I own this TV. We have this sewing machine. Okay, this telephone. It's not working anymore, but we still have in our house this small one, these lamps, these tape recorders, and everything. For them, it's uh, like museum pieces. But I think we are still using it in our country. So it's funny to see that here. find local items here. They are selling the 
items like uh, cushions and pillows and everything, the dresses of uh, Emirati ladies, it's like that. The style is the same, actually made from Kashmir, but uh, they're good in styles. which they used to set up in the desert. It's a very old culture of them. They're still using it now. Little modernized, you know, with the music and everything, but in the old time, they were just having a barbecue and they were having uh, like tea party and just sit there for shisha and smoke. It was like this, but uh, it's a very cool. It's normally, if you will go to the desert, then you will see still the Bidin camps. A little futuristic styles, but the main theme will remain the same. So it's very nice, you know. I have done it uh, two to three times and it's very nice. You know, the camel word, it comes from Arabic and it means beauty. So it is really beautiful animal. Yeah? It's a very loyal animal and dangerous too if you are trying to mess with it. Ancestors, the main occupation was uh, fishing and uh, pearl diving, you know, finding pearls in the sea. That was their main source and that was the main source of the income until they found oil and uh, they started to develop their country. Before that, it was just uh, very simple. Uh, they have no, like, uh, not too many ridges. They were just with walking with the camels and they were just uh, happy with their boats. But see, in just uh, 30 years, where they have reached, that's what uh, good nations do. If you are free from the corruption of the politicians, then you can really develop your country very well in a very small period of time. Uh, this is the marine station, okay? Just like a metro station system in Dubai. The marine transport, this is uh, used uh, in the creek area. If you want to go to from Dubai to Dera side, then you can just take this Abra. Abra right is just like Wanderam, very economical. People are going if uh, the offices, we are all the offices here. So if people are residing in this area and then they want to go to uh, that area in the morning, it just takes Wanderam in five minutes. So it's a very good uh, transport system. Second thing, you can go from here to Business Bay, uh, New Creek the man-made creek, then from there you can also go to the Jumeira, uh, Jumeira 2, that is Burj Al Arab Kite Beach. From there you can also go to Atlantis. So like uh, this system is just the marine system. So the ticket for that is a, a little expensive, 25 dirhams per person, but it's uh, worth uh, going sometimes because it's a really nice ride. So it's a good system, you know, and I am planning to ride it now. Cross the Al Fahili, okay, Bastakia, then you will come here to the Gold Zoo. 
This is the biggest world market in Dubai. This all is going to the Gulf of The streets are very narrow. And this is the most uh, old part of Dubai in actual. But you will not find any old heritage. You will just find like old buildings, congested buildings, and it's uh, the cheapest area in Dubai. Also, if you want to live here. The population comprised of 71% expats and an overwhelming number of classy modern buildings. Dubai can feel a little devoid of tradition and national identity, but it can be found if you know where to look. Beyond the superlatives, skyscrapers, and inexplicably squeaky clean streets, there are far more to Dubai that meets the eye. So after exploring the old Dubai on my next vlog, let's explore the city that looks like an ultra-modern elders adventure playground with its mega malls, man-made islands and twinkling skyscrapers.